how many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wulner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You'll find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Okay, that never happened last time, but... Uh... Oh, we have this one. Point science, linguistics, and erudition. We don't have any of those, I think. Adequate logic, psychology, manipulation. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna have it there. Unlock as many things as we can. Is there nothing you want to say, Louis? I... I it wasn't me. I, I, I didn't kill her. I, I'd much rather have met you under different circumstances. Lord Mortimer, believe me, I'm very conscious of the gravity of the situation. <laughs> Everything seems to point to me as the one who killed Elizabeth, but I swear I am innocent. Out of respect for your mother, rest assured that I do want to believe you. And all I want is to be able to prove it to you. When do we start? We already have. Tell me, Louis. How do you feel? I feel like a rat trapped in a maze. Interesting. I beg your pardon? Sarah also felt like she was trapped like an animal. Where are you going with this, my lord? Sarah's behavior grew odd before her disappearance. Her attitude changed, she became prey to outbursts of violence and a number of temporary absences. I'm just trying to make sure that you don't go getting lost like your mother did. You're not suggesting that I might have killed Elizabeth and that I don't remember, are you? I don't know, Louis. It's just that what with your mother and now you, it's rather a lot. The more I take stock of the situation, the more I'm under the impression that you've been set up. But, before going any further, I must inform you that Sir Gregory is about to arrive. He is coming to question you about the murder of poor Elizabeth, whom he was very fond of. He is quite determined to find the culprit, whomever they may be. So, convince him of your innocence. Then we can continue this conversation. Lord William, of Mortimer. I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. Let's step outside a moment. Louis, this will only take a few moments. I feel like this is a test. I'm gonna wait. I better not make myself look more suspicious than I already do. Good evening, Monsieur de Richet. Likewise, Sir Gregory. Well then, let us begin. Monsieur de Richet, you were found standing over Miss Adams' body. We must shed some light on your responsibility in this tragedy. We shall then decide on your fate. But you must know 
that if you do not convince us of your innocence, it will cost you dearly. Now you are going to tell us everything that happened last night, without leaving any detail out. First things first, how did your evening begin? I was in the corridor, and I was going to bed. Elizabeth wanted to speak to me because she feared for her life. Very well. Continue. Were you alone? No. I was going upstairs with Duchess Hillsborough, and we were walking towards our rooms when Elizabeth suddenly appeared. We were heading for our rooms when Elizabeth burst into the corridor, barely dressed. She was panic-stricken and insisted on speaking to me, so I found myself in Elizabeth's room. We sat down together. She insisted we have a drink, or she would refuse to confide in me. Hmm. What exactly did she want to speak about at such a late hour? She was distressed. She she just found out that I was Sarah de Riche's son and sort of insisted on telling me about the horrors my mother made her suffer. She was convinced she was going to die. <laughs> it turns out she wasn't wrong. And what happened next? Then she told me she had poured laudanum in my glass. The next minute I was on the floor. When I woke up, she was lying in a pool of blood. That is all you had to say? You expect us to believe that you have no idea what happened to her? Yes, because I'm telling you the truth. How can you possibly expect us to believe you? Gregory, we must consider every possibility. Louis, do you have any idea who could have done it? Look, frankly, it's beyond me. I just don't know. Monsieur de Richet, don't you think it would be in your interest to help us find another suspect? Why don't you ask him where he was last night? Monsieur Peru, what would his motive be? Do you have any proof? No, not exactly, but he'd already roughed her up once. Monsieur de Richet, you should not accuse the first person to come along without at least some proof. I'm sure you are worthier than that. Can you think of anyone else? Let's finish this, William. I don't rightly know how we can give the benefit of the doubt to an individual who can manipulate the truth to absurdity. Louis. <sighs> Unfortunately, you haven't managed to convince us. You will agree that you had the time and the motive to commit the murder. I... I am devastated, but I must agree with Gregory and declare you guilty. Gentlemen, if you please, wait. There is something else. Elizabeth ended up telling me why my mother had tried to treat her. The voices in her head, is that it? She spoke to you about them too, didn't she? Gentlemen, I'm not a doctor, but she was persuaded she heard voices in her head. You don't think she might have killed herself, By do stabbing you? herself nine times. I find that extremely unlikely, don't you? What? Stabbed nine times? It appears that the murderer walked up and stabbed her several times from behind. We counted nine gashes in all. All of them were relatively shallow, 
and they were all given from roughly the same angle of attack. Traces of blood appear to prove that she was standing throughout the attack. I might not have the strength of Hercules, but if I had stabbed a woman, I'd probably have made deeper cuts. Sounds plausible. I have to admit, you put forward a powerful argument, Monsieur de Richet. I think that will be all, Gregory. The benefit of the doubt suffices. I would like to thank you for helping us shed light on what happened last night. To be honest, you are not the only suspect. I'm prepared to believe you were drugged. Our poor Elizabeth hid the stuff everywhere, and I could smell laudanum on you three yards away. So you knew it wasn't me from the start? We weren't sure. Louis, I am sorry, but everything points in the same direction. I only know one person on this island who might have had a big enough grudge against Elizabeth, who has no alibi, and whose behavior is, well, suspect. Not to mention dangerous. Tell me what happened before my arrival. I think I've been patient enough. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat? Or the mouse. Knowing my mother, she would be the cat. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him, because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? if only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what he said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? She... she was looking for someone. What, what do you mean? In Paris, we were working on a smuggling case to do with occult objects. We had just arrested a dealer who intended to go to you to meet a buyer. 
My mother was here to find out to whom he intended to sell his stolen treasure. Oh. Uh, what was the name of your dealer? The dealer was called Von Burchard. As for the buyer, he was unknown to us. Hmm. No, I don't know anything about that. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Maybe she found something out. What do you mean? My mother has a gift for investigating. If she had picked up a lead, nothing would have stopped her. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Tell me. Tell me about her disappearance. Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me. But between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came, when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. One last thing, although mm. I don't know if there is a connection. I'm listening. A gate was forced the other night near the wharf. Nothing serious, just a few small things damaged. Sorry, my lord, uh, but I was searching for leads to my mother. I thought I was hot on her trail and didn't take any precautions. Well, you could have reported it to a servant. But never mind. I shall put it down to your ardor and anxiety. However, please try to respect my estate in future. I certainly will. Please accept my sincerest apologies. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. <clears throat> Man, I really thought I was going to get shot there. Hmm. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. I literally thought I was going to get shot. Like, 100%, I was like, fuck, now I'm going to have to reload and do this all over again. Go to the tower room. Whose room is this? I, I actually haven't been here. A track. Oh! The papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? A man with a sword, huh? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize your love of riddles there. Faith has got to be the Pope. Who has a sword? 
Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. <clears throat> so maybe the faith doesn't actually have to do with... What is this disc? There we go. Oh, that reminds me of the ones my mother collects. It's magnetic. Let's take it. Consult your notes. Well, I will. But not yet. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. I do not want to use that yet. <clears throat> okay, let's go to our clues because it's not going to make that disappear. Talents, no. Wait, traits, I got a new- yeah, where's that new one? Condemned. The use of vigilance skill costs one more effort point. Yeah. Okay, so I can't sprint in here because it's not letting me. Oh, yeah, I can. It's shift. I'm just pressing the wrong button. Noise! Okay, let's go into the next room. Magnet! door appears to be locked on the other side. Oh! I, think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like, like a key falling. Oh, we'll see if it works. Use the disc. Fucking right! Genius! Genius! Big brain me! It's open. A fucking thug walk going on here. Strut my way in. Hell yeah. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. The faith in the sword. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Hmm. Okay, so number 11. Number 11. Amber. Amber. Yes! <laughs> Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. No book. It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. The New Testament. I need to find... This book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. for 11. There it is. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. 
but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. What does it say? Dear E, I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where, and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative, awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? The youngest apostle! Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Oh, I guess it's not that? Uh, youngest apostle. Youngest apostle. Youngest apostle! Here? St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Hmm. Saint Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors. Ah, shit. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. Let's go check out number four. Number four! Wait. I guess I'll just come back later. No, 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 no. that's not what I want to do. Four. Wait, it says chapter four. Uh, there's two Aha! In him, God has chosen us before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and blameless before him. Hmm. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Strange. St. Paul is shown twice, unlike the other disciples. Hmm. There's nothing worth noticing here. No, nothing of value here. It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. Okay. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. The sentence in Hebrew. It says, count in the dust. All right, let's do it. Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. Count in the dust. <clears throat> there are finger marks deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. That's what the message in Hebrew spoke about. Hebrew eight. Hebrew eight, you say?
but that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. Okay. Paul! Oh! St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Okay, so I have to go see 11 now. 11! Did I already do 11? I don't really remember. For it is evident Oops. that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Not what I meant to do. Back. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. And we did 11, did 8... Okay, when Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Oh, these guys, the apostles. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Vinny. Right? It looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. No, it wasn't that? It says to his left. So maybe... Maybe. The chest with the occult symbol representing air. Oh my god, it take all of that? There's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Hmm. painting looks like it's been taken down recently. What was it my mother said? That she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle. Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? Mm. It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. One to the left and three to the right. Thirteen, maybe?
One to the left, three to the right. Maybe. One to the left, three to the right. It couldn't be 1030, could it? I and my father are one. No. One, three. I just have a, I have a wild assumption right here. One, 13, Let maybe? Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. And neither tempteth he any man. No. Oh. So if, if it is what I'm thinking, it has to be a one and three. If it's what I'm thinking. It can't be this either. One in three. One in three. One in three. I wait your confirmation to his left in the company of pilgrims who have joined him. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Hmm. I don't know where I'd be going from here. So I think I'm gonna have to St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the 13th apostle. Okay. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. Oh, 11, 11? Maybe it's 11, 11? I doubt that. So we got 13, 11. So... Look for 13 and 11 or 11, 11. Wait, 13 2. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude 11 twice stood as well. On the shore. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to click on like I said, 11 No, oh, we need to look for 11 11 and a 13 as well. I'm trying not to just do this easy, you know. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness. Yeah, we did this one. And walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth. 
because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Yes, we did that. I'm glad you found this note. We did this. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative. Awaiting your reply. Hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What is We got mean? that. Six eight. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? No, tonight is not possible let's say tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation when paul understood that only the axe counted he went back on his tracks i wait your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him Their finger marks, deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. This is what gave us eight. What Hebrew spoke about. Hebrew eight. We already got 11, 11, and the eight. So we got the 11 twice. We got the eight. This one says, the complications indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do we need help if not tonight? Uh, tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Paul facing an ordeal curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior this painting has been hanging here for a long time a lot of dust is built up on it while well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust I can read the number four and we haven't done a four yet let's go check out something with a four It'd be 413, right? It probably it'd have to be a verse, I believe. I believe. In him God has chosen us before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and blameless before him. That didn't work. But it wasn't just that. We might as well check the chapter four then. Because we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. What could it be? The 
pilgrims. If I'm not mistaken, numbered respectively 12 and 14 in the last painting. With the simple operation suggested, that would mean that the new groups are 6 and 7. Six and seven. Six and seven. Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, oh, look. Here's a message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims, how many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Six. What do I do with that knowledge? Painted by Guido Rini. So we have the figure 11 twice underlined and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere. Man, I wasted that. Associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with a figure, maybe? Man, what a pain in the ass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe Several this? portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. No. Oh. No, nothing of value here. Hmm, I know about the six, but I'm not sure what I need to do with it now. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. What comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. There's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. Which is what's what split the it. What does that mean? So that's what's split it into the six and seven. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt, not the oil and the wine. Wasn't that one? Six, There's seven, right there. There's importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims... How many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. Yeah? Wait, wait, wait. Mark?
No. Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. And so it was that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, and neither tempteth he any man. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. I don't know what I do next year. Go to six eight. Oh. Thou hast put all things under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, which tribe mm. Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Honor thy father and thy mother, as this is the first commandment. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Oh, I'm just guessing them now. Thou hast put all things under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. Damn it! I wish you'd select, not show me things I've already selected. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And we no longer have to go into here, into the Hebrews. Go back to 6-8. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul... ...understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation 
to his left, in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. New pilgrims near Paul. New pilgrims near Paul! I don't know! New pilgrims near Paul. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. We haven't done any four yet that I see. So we're going to stick on finding a four that we need to use since we haven't actually hit a four. Hereby know that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. So it's not in these. Yeah, it's not in here. We just did this one. 418, right? Because we look not at the things that are seen, no. but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay, so it's not here. This is the one where we went the first time, right? Yep. Go back to the beginning. So no, no. Four. Four. No, four. That's six and eleven. These suborned men, which said... We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. Not in the lustful desire, even as the Gentiles who knew not God. In him, God has chosen us before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and blameless before him. I guess I'll just come back later. No! Oh! We did four five. We did one four. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Wasn't that one either. Four eight? Finally, brethren. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Two and two to make four? And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. It did 418. Right? Because we look not at the things yeah, that are Yeah, we've done 418. At the things Damn, which I'm are not stuck seen. here. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Well, the only one we got is 413 here. Hereby know that we dwell in him, and he in us, 
because he hath given us of his spirit. St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. Hey, wait! That means it's him. He's the youngest apostle. Right. This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E really? had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. I had to click that before I do anything? Hey, St. John! I guess I'll just no, come back No, 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 no. I'm back. John, John, John! What's gonna read all of yours, John? He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Gogotha. I and my father are one. Now, there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. That wasn't it? I guess I'll just come back later. On the second day, the pilgrims listened to the prophecy of the young apostle. The prophecy of the young apostle. That was John. And the prophecy mentioned is most likely the book of Revelations according to St. John. Ah, the book of Revelations. There was another John. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Hereby know that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. That was literally the last one. <laughs> they should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? A group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to and now John is telling them prophecies? On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Is it 711? Could be 714, but I want to see if there's a 711 first. Actually, let's just do 714 first. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Okay, so it's got to be 711. 711. 711. Aha! And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. No! 
several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. 1214? Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. Well, 14 then. Group of pilgrims. If I'm not mistaken, numbered respectively 12 and 14 in the last painting. With the simple operation suggested, that would mean that the new groups are 6 and 7. Okay, so I'd have to look for 6 and 7 and 12 and 14. No, you. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. We got Not six today. and seven already. I'm unable to do it. So it's the 12 and In 14 meantime, is the one we were missing. I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims, how many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. But now I need to look for 12 and 14. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times, and a half a time, from the face of the serpent. Hey, a new note. It's been folded carefully in the corner of this page. The writing, it, it, it's not my mother's. S, I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. I can assure you, awaiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Hears the angel? What does that mean? Oh, it's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. Wait. The angel. I guess I'll just come back later. The angel, the angel, the angel. This. The drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Okay. Wait, look at the frame. something else behind this painting it says half no oh, yeah yeah we got that we'll join the first city of Corinth what the hell does that mean like he who hears the angel chest with the occult symbol representing air.
I and my father are one. I guess I'll just come back later. S, I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. I can assure you, awaiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Here's the angel? What does that mean? Oh, it's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. Ah! And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jerus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Gogotha. I and my father are one. Now, there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. And so many came and couldn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. Take heed that ye practice your justice before men to be seen differently by them. Otherwise, ye shall have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole, and the woman was made whole from that hour. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. For I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. This only would I learn of you, receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, and a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, ah! and ye that fear him, both small and great. saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor 
and glory and blessing. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou Dear God, hurt, not the oil and the wine. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved, and in them that perish. <sighs> there are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room, where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. very hungry and would have eaten but while they were made ready he fell into a trance hey there's a note here a message from mother <laughs> to e. we must leave urgently but first i absolutely must go beyond the nightmare watch out for volner he figured out i was avoiding him a lay suspicion see you tomorrow evening stand ready for now let's cease all communication until we meet Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Clearly, she must be trying to do something useful, but the what? The nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? Well, if it's a concept, I've got no idea what it is. I need to figure out what this means. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. Man, big brain. I don't know. <laughs> it's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. You are expected in the small salon, sir. Where is that? Downstairs? 
puzzle is ass hard. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. I've got a question that might seem a little bit strange. I'm listening. If I said, go beyond the nightmare, would that ring any bells? Hmm. No, means nothing to me. Do you mean literally or figuratively speaking? My mother used to talk about it, in the figurative sense, probably. We still need to understand what she was referring to, though. If I find something, I'll let you know. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Emily, there's something else. Go on, then. It's... it's about your sister. I don't know what happened exactly, but it's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same evening. Well, thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know if I could trust you. Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book, so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Why would she do that? I don't know, Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Thank you, Louis. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And what has Monsieur Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention, which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if... Oh, gracious. No, he's not the boss. God. It's appalling. Hmm. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France. He's lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But that's enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maurras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? 
Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you, as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Uh, could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? To hear you speak, it sounds like you and my mother were close. Let's say I hold your mother in high esteem, yes. We were even planning to work together. That's what he was getting at. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? The cat's out of the bag now. More or less, but please do, do refresh my memory. Yes, of course. Uh, nothing of great importance in itself. During one of our discussions, she spoke of an old book, which might have been of interest to me, and she had agreed to let me have it. A book about what? Ancient occultism. As you are aware, I am a doctor of theology. You might have come across some old books in her belongings, perhaps? The least one can say is that he doesn't beat around the bush. Sarah never travels without a few books. What does the one you're looking for look like, exactly? It resembles a grimoire. It's divided into seven parts, each one individually locked. It was made in such a way that if someone tried to tamper with it, the sheets would be permanently tarnished. It's a unique copy. There's only one. The mere mention of it makes his face light up. Well, I'll take a closer look, but I can't promise you anything. You seem very upset. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's, uh, it's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain von Borchert in Paris. Do you know him? Indeed. One of your close friends? Uh, no, not really, but we were close once. Precisely over the case that concerns us now, because he claimed to have the book I'm looking for. Another dishonest person. What can you say? Can't trust anyone these days, huh? No. No. You can't. I hope I've been able to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Von Bullner, and that you succeed in finding what you're looking for. Oh, and so do I. And now, what if you told me who you really are working for, instead of keeping up this pretense? I beg your pardon? We both know what you're looking for, Von Volner. You're the one who Von Bertrand was planning to sell it to. For centuries, all those who have come into contact with the Al-Azif have bitterly regretted it, Monsieur de Richet. You are playing a dangerous game. 
please know that I am working for someone who does not appreciate anyone poking around in his business. Let me guess. You're dear king, I should think. What? You mean Frederick William? Oh, my poor fellow. You are miles away. That stupid, pretentious puppet wields no real power. But seeing as you do not wish to be serious, so be it. Good luck to you. Hmm. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Does expression go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for a phrase book, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. Well, I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Uh, wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. You know, I didn't actually know who it was. Right. I took a gander at the I king. Everything. Because I figured Mortimer would be too obvious. Go beyond the nightmare. Does this line remind you of anything in particular? You caught me unaware here, Louis. Let me think about it a second. No, nothing comes to mind. Sorry, Louis, but I am unable to help you. Well, thank you for your time. Don't mention it, my young friend. Regarding your question on the nightmare, don't hesitate to question the others about it. Maybe one of them knows more than I do. That's a good idea. Thank you once again. I'll see you in a little bit. I mean, that's what I planned on doing in the first place. You were so goddamn useless. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Hmm. Obviously my place. Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. No. I'm trying to see if I can go into anybody's room. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. Jesus, I had to sneeze. My bad. Damn, I should have went for Mortimer, though. Because that's why I really wanted to go first, but like I said, I thought Mortimer was going to be the too obvious one. And now I regret not choosing it. What was that? Oh, okay, just that. Oh! Oh, I'm glad I get to choose here. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Hmm.
Happy an hour. A S E. Oh? Hmm. Which four letter word could open this chest? A case. No, can't be R. And I don't think it can be B. It could possibly be B. Able. No. Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? E. Z. No, it can't be Z. That means out of all of these, it would have to be C, most likely. Could that be... A... S... E... Uh, E's? Okay, we'll leave this here for now. The Book of the Mortimer family. by Paul Rubens. It's a book on the history of the Crusades. I don't think it has any connection with my research. No, no, what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Hang on. What's this painting? We'll go there in a sec. Eat a red berry! You're ready to wipe away negative hmm. effects. Might come in handy. Oh, we just took it. Okay. Let's take a closer look. Dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Writing about the regard to the dates of the painting that I sent you for your temporary excavation. Please note that they are part of my private collection and are dated according to the Freemasons calendar AL. Uh, and use at the time. As you may well have guessed, you must remember to subtract 4,000 years if you don't want the public to be surprised at the dating of the works. No need to remind you that the Freemason year AL begins in March, not January. But the Loginous painting. I took the liberty to have the spear touched up so it better corresponds to the actual spear. And I urge you to strongly enough to do the same for yours. There we go. Look at this. Got dates. The Nightmare Painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by Go Beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. What the hell was that? Hello, bird. A minor bird. Well, Waldo, is your 
Master Good? I don't really know what I was expecting. Sarah Dariche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah. What about Sarah? Good God, what's been happening here? Oh, what have I done? It looks like I've killed him. Oh, shit. I better not hang around. I killed the bird! <laughs> oh, that's just a book I found before. I don't think this book can help me. Oh, I think I know how to get in. It's this little turn thing. Let me out of here. This. Wait, what's that? this a ring lock now great that's all i needed okay it's okay it's okay hey okay, here we go okay the freemason's calendar al in use at the time as you may well have guessed you must remember to subtract 4,000 years if you don't want the public to be surprised. No need to remind you that the Freemason year begins in March, not January. Okay. isn't finished and it looks like Mortimer probably did it hey there are two dates on this painting 1154 AD and 5154 AL 1154 let's try it out I just had it at one Got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Hey, there are two dates on this painting. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. Oh, oh. Maybe it's nine. Got it wrong. It doesn't it, matter. You say 54, right? Hey, there are two dates on this painting. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. 1154. 1154. Coup de by Paul Rubens. William Alexander Mortimer the first, the twelfth month of Annalusis, five thousand one hundred ninety. That's a funny date. One one nine zero. Doesn't work, damn it! I really thought I was close. 1,190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? 
I must have missed a subtlety. Wait, what if it's the five one? There we go. Oh! Damn it. Nope. It doesn't work. 5,190. I was pretty sure it was right. Maybe I didn't use the right dating system. A painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. William Alexander Mortimer I, the twelfth month of Anna Lucis, 5,190. That's a funny date. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't work, damn it. I really thought I was close. 1,190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? I must have missed a subtlety. Still not working. I get the impression I counted the wrong way. It must be one year more than, right? Impression the wait. I, I went the wrong way. It doesn't work. Damn it. Well, I really maybe thought I was close. One thousand one hundred ninety. Isn't the right date when you subtract four thousand? I must have missed a subtlety. <sighs> well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. So it is... Damn it. It's 1,190. Woo! I had to add one, not take one away. Open sesame. See what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. Ha! Ah! Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium are to go ahead as set down. I am to occupy the Prussian army. Your delivery of cannons to Valmy has ensured our victory. As agreed, I have notified the King of Prussia of the invasion plans of Custine and the Army of the North. I'll keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am to quickly return to Paris as I sense the fate of our King Louis is about to be decided dishonorably, and it is impossible for me not to intervene. If you have any misgives or missives to give me, I invite you to go by as per usual. Our friend Monsieur Peru. Sincerely yours, long name I'm not gonna say. A fine looking map of the Orient indeed. My dearest Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that it will soon be impossible to ignore pressure from the Russians. The Katharina Catherine has every intention of supporting the Count of Provence and will recognize him as the regent of the Kingdom of France. Once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage, I am sorry to announce bad news, but expect dark times ahead. 
I knew he didn't seem surprised. Hey. It shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. Oh my god, yes! I have more! <laughs> Weakness of the Human Psyche by Guillaume Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. And goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. Hmm. This shows the forces present in America. Is this the Illuminati? Are we the Illuminati? <laughs> this is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. I have sword! Am I seeing things, or is that an actual Von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Hmm. Move away for now. I might find another key here. Great. A table of alchemical elements. Hmm. An iron mask. Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. Hmm. Nothing that I can't grab here. Oh, this? A skeleton. By the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It is an Egyptian or Hebrew. I have two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. It looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. Something strange about this table. Little Surgeon's Perfect Collection. What kind of experiments does Mortimer carry out here? It's a dissection table. So Mortimer does autopsies here on his desert island. But who is he doing autopsies on then? Preservation using formaldehyde. No, here. More to more. Community Just science. Just as disgusting okay. as ever. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. It is a typical draw in a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance, that announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, 
the Emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Guess I'm gonna have to do it. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Those collector coins, I wouldn't say that was worth it. It's locked. Time for me to get the fuck out! After looking at this. Weakness of the human psyche. Yeah, okay, we're good. By out! E. Hmm. He says, it is possible to... Oh, shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? Uh-oh. Uh... What if I just do the same thing? Damn it, that was one. Oh shit, this, this is okay, this is supposed to be one. <laughs> I'm gonna do it backwards. One. Nine. That is a nine, right? That's gonna be a one. Seven. One. Is this it? This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Whoa, whoa. If the grid closes a bit more every time I enter a wrong date, I'd, I'd better not mess up again. It doesn't seem to be working. One, one. Nine, one. Right? What if I do the five? Five. Five, one, nine, one? This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Ah! Oh, shit. Cornered like a rat. Someone's coming. Please don't let it be Mortimer. Who is it? Deliberately avoiding me. Four years ago, I was his favorite. But nowadays, I have to ask for an audience with his lordship. Damn it! It's Peru. Is it Peru? It's Mr. Dereche. I'm sort of trapped behind this painting. What are you playing at, goddammit? Help me out of here, please. How can I open it? There's a pedal under Lord Mortimer's desk. Can you see it? There's no... Hang on. Yes. Good. Now press it. Yeah, yeah. Done. You should see something resembling a frame with numbers. Yes? You have to turn them to set the combination. One, one, nine, one. Poking our nose into Mortimer's little secrets, are we? You do surprise me. It's not what you're thinking. I'll explain everything. No, you will not, sir. It has nothing to do with me, and by the way, I never even saw you. So, I'll be on my way now. 
Thanks again. I'm indebted to you. I won't forget this. Yeah, goodbye. I've wasted enough time. I better get moving if I want to find my mother. Ah! <laughs> Well, you're not the sword that goes here. Oh, there's statues here. But first, you, my friend. Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? A. B. Uh, you N S L B. Nope. <laughs> R E I. Wait. N E S. L B R S U E uh, A Z E No 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 second one B E Oh okay oh yeah okay we got it third one B I you? C? You? Uh... A? E? I? N? L? S? See? I move away. Screw it. I don't need it anyways. Let's go find that statue. Wait, there's something over here. A key with a cold water purgatory. symbol. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub? The worm before it's attained its final form. Charming. I killed his fucking bird. Forgot about that. Whatever route. <laughs> Sorry, Waldo. <Walter. laughs> I didn't mean it. Politics, logic, version, psychology, go psychology. This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them.
We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one 20 odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I was wondering if you might have seen an object like this here at the manor. What are you playing at, Deriche? I'm afraid I can't help you, my son. Ask someone who knows the manor better than I do. One of the servants, for example. One of them is bound to help you. Thank you for your advice, Your Eminence. I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. You brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears, too? Yes, but I thought I was the only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen, you know. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows. Especially as there is only one authentic one, of course. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His Eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. Ha ha ha! Fools! Fools, all of you! Let's go find that servant. I think he's downstairs. Servant! There you are. I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Could you perhaps help me? What can I do for you, sir? Where did this sword come from? From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues in the garden. Thank you very much. Don't mention it, sir. To the garden! Wait. Don't need it. Can we wait? Oh yeah, the garden. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? We will find out. Honey, yes, I more. Hope for better. Oh, you? Hey. You again? God damn it! Are you following me? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. What brings you here? I tell you what I'm looking for, Monsieur Peru. Will you promise to keep it to yourself? Hell no. And anybody who gives you a promise like that is an unmitigated liar. Trust no one, Monsieur Derichet, or you'll soon be a dead man. I bid you good luck. You'll need it. I'll take your advice, my friend. You may be a dick, but you're definitely, you're definitely on my side. At least right now you are. You don't need the sword. A visit to the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis era. Excuse me. I am looking for loot. You get the sword, my Davis. friend! He's the architect of the labyrinth. And if I'm not mistaken, he's also the father of Icarus. Looks like you hold the sword. Hey, there's a crack in this statue, too. Right. Well, 
We'll soon see. Let us go! Puzzle solving! This is just like a mix of puzzle solving and Sherlock Holmes. That's all this is. <laughs> Theseus, son of Aegeus. He's the one who slayed the Minotaur. Stick the sword in! Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. It's as long as a finger. I'd say between six and eight centimeters. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Honey, Who knows? I couldn't have hoped for better. Minos. Son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. The crack is in the region of the heart. Let us go. We must pick up all that we can. All that we know. Oh, this Stereo. is where this one goes, see? It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. This statue has a crack in it. I'll be back for you, bro. Let's go. You're a very suspicious statue. Okay, not that way. Wanna loot everything I possibly can before going to that center. Look in my hand. Yes, sir. -o. There's a lot of those things that we don't need. Okay, time to go. In we go. this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden too cramped to be able to do much well there must be something going on there what is that looks like a sort of opening mechanism that looks like it's gonna puncture my hand at the fingers I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong I'll, I'll get pricked damn you Mortimer reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs fuck it just press it's gonna hurt no matter what ah I'm pretty sure I put it in the wrong one wrong either i'm imagining things or my hand was pricked it's up to the just to deliver judgment truth unlocks all possibilities pasiphae daughter of perseus and sister of circe she married minos and became the queen of crete Let's continue anyways. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know who's gonna be doing it. It's gonna be you, bro. You get the sword in your Asterion. your heart. The chest. The statue has a crack in it. Oh, oh wait, maybe let's I have to go. take the sword out? Maybe it's in that guy over there? I don't know. Let's let's go find out. 
Yeah, it is. I can see it. Okay, I didn't pick it up. Give it back. Daedalus. All right. Let's try again. You never know. Yes, yes. It's not you. The sword of the just. Of the just! It's got to be the guy who has a bunch of swords in him. Right? Asterion. The statue has a crack in it. Got in the sword. Right. We'll soon see. I can make a mistake up to four times. Which is great. Because then I'll just use my thing to get rid of my negative trait. Press! Nope, I got hit. Owie! Yeah, you lied to me. You look so, Stereo. you know, just designed for it. You know what? You, Harpy. Icarus. The son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, he came unstuck and he fell to his death. Pity. It's not oh, you. Let's keep going. In the just. In the just. It's it's got to be the other person. Let us run. If it's not this guy, then it's her. Sorry, this girl. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. Let's see. Yeah! If it is not you, then it is her. I don't believe it being Icarus. Nope. Ow! Fucking hurt! At least it's not stacking. Just getting a shit ton of cuts in my hand. Not that it, not that it matters. Ariadne. Give me the sword back, Ariadne. Try something else. Okay, I'm gonna try her, and if it's not her, then that means that it's the statue over here. I honestly don't think it's gonna be Icarus. Pacifé. Daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. All right. No, she doesn't have a crack in it. Anyways. So it's this douche canoe. Wait, there's a guy over here in the corner that was hidden. Minos. The crack is in the region of the heart. Here you go, Minos. I'm putting my faith in you. It's not Minos that I'm coming for you next, guy with club. Yeah! First try. Oh, 
want vision. Again? I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to... Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! <gasps> what was that? That's the third time in three days. See if you're you're in there, mother. Amber. Yes, it's been increased. Bandages. Hmm. Someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Hmm. There are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. A Greek ah! One of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned, both... <gasps> Not again. Got everything now. I don't even know where to put it. I'll put in diversion. <laughs> 